Hello, my name is Will Carmack and I'm going to be showing you how to animate your concert photography in After Effects. I recently shot U2 at the Sphere in Vegas, so it's fresh on my mind and I have some amazing examples to edit for you today. These are going to be 20 tips and plugins that will make these photos pop for you and get you hired by all the clients in the world. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So once you've cut out all of your pieces of your photo in Photoshop and then rebuilt the entire scene as a 3D scene in After Effects, this is where my advice begins. To give it a retro, more choppy look because it's a photo, not actually a video, set your frame rate to 15. So now in your final video, it'll look nice and stylized. If you alt click on your point of interest in your layers panel on your camera, you can type in the expression wiggle 160. What this is gonna do is give you handheld motion on your camera. So now as you animate your position keyframes, it's gonna look natural and handheld like a person filmed it. We wanna make sure that in our final export, everything has good motion blur. So make sure you have all these box checked, but to save yourself render time, leave them off until you're actually doing your export. Always cut out the arms of the people you're photographing in Photoshop so in After Effects, you can use rotation keyframes to make it look like their arms are moving. To dovetail off that, cut out their clothes because in After Effects, you can use CC bulge to make it look like they're blowing in the wind. And so it doesn't feel super stiff, you can use the puppet tool on your subject or your character to make it look like they're bending over or leaning, or you can use this in place of the rotation keyframes to make their arms move. You can even use a puppet tool alongside CC Bulge to make the clothes flow nicely in the wind. If you want to emulate stage light, those big tractor beams that are flying onto the stage, you just have to create a white solid and create a mask around it that's kind of in the shape of a long trapezoid. Create a bunch of subtracted mass alongside it so it's got kind of depth inside of it and put a wiggle expression on the opacity and set it to 1220 or any variation that you like. And bam, now you've created a flickering stage light. And you can just readjust the mask to put this light wherever you would like. In our 3D comp, we want to add particles. There's a bunch of free particulate animations on productioncrate.com. Litter those throughout your comp to create some depth as you're moving through the scene. Now, before we continue to composite, I think it's smart to export every single layer as an alpha channel before we move on. So once you're happy with your camera movement, just solo each layer and export it. You want to export it as a QuickTime file and under this setting right here, do RGB alpha. The alpha just means the background will show up transparent. Now to stylize the glows and the shadows, if we pre-comp everything and duplicate it and put the extract effect on it and only um, leave the darkest sections. We'll put that on top of everything and apply the noise effect, crank up noise a little bit. And now just like if you're filming in a real dark location, your shadows are gonna have more noise than the brightest images in your scene. Now we're gonna do the opposite of that. We're gonna duplicate that pre-comped layer, use the extract effect to only reveal the brightest parts of the scene. And then we're gonna put the glow effect on that. Crank up the radius and now our whites are glowing and our darks are like noisy. <laughs> this is how you stylize the depth of your image. Now, if we go back to productioncrate.com, they have a free plugin called God Rays. It's my new favorite thing in the entire world. If you put that on an adjustment layer over any of your photography animations, you can adjust the decay, length, and exposure to create these light streaks that just add so much beautiful depth to your scene. You can keyframe the center to make the lights move across your subject or your scene and do that until you're super happy with the animation. Next is lens dust. Because we've created these bright lights with God Rays, we want to kind of have the foreground interact with that. So like a normal camera, if you film something really bright, you will accidentally get some of the dust on your lens to light up. So we're just gonna Google lens dust, drop it in our scene, set it to screen, and we're gonna use the tint effect to set it to whatever color the background is. Now with mass and uh, keyframes on your opacity, I am just fading in and out these foreground elements that are interacting with our light. Now if we wanna create a cool rack focus to really emulate a real camera vibe, I am just using the effect camera lens blur and I am keyframing it up and down as we're shifting through different scenes in um, our animation. And now to make the edges not feel so stiff and give it some stylized look, I'm going to put a blanket adjustment layer over everything and add CC lens. I'm going to animate the size of the convergence to just give the edges a little bit of um, fun movement there. And now this looks freaking fantastic. To blend everything together, we're going to put an adjustment layer over everything and add the noise effect. Noise just kind of blends all these pixels together and looks like it was shot from the same camera. Now to top 
top off the blending of all these layers together, we'll put another adjustment layer on top of everything and just put Lumetri color, add a vignette, change the contrast, et cetera, et cetera. Adding these final color correcting touches is what brings it all together. And obviously your last mission is good sound design to make any of these concert animations really pop. So these are all the best tips, plugins, and effects that you can make um, a concert photography animations really pop. If you have any questions about any of these effects, comment down below, I'll answer them, or message me on Instagram, I'll message them. Well, I'll, I'll respond to them. And it's time to thank today's incredible sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you gotta do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you wanna sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace. Create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible. The options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.